Oh my god, this guy is a genius. He used simple square tube to make a door that can fold freely. It is easy to store and save space. First, he cut out the corresponding square tubes according to the planned blueprint. After cutting them, he assembled and welded them into a rectangular frame. Then he also welded the two diagonal square tubes firmly. When welding, he made sure to keep a certain gap between the two. At the same time, he also welded two square tubes at one of the corners. He paid attention to the details of the operation. He put a grinding wheel in the middle of the tube to keep a certain gap. To make the frame more stable, he cut out square tubes of the corresponding length and welded them at the diagonal position. He welded two short tubes on the top as the support and force points for the doorframe rotation. In this way, he completed the basic prototype of the frame. Then he smoothed and polished the surface of the weld. After polishing, he drilled holes at the center of the support points. Then he installed lotus leaf parts on the two diagonal square tubes. He also installed two hinges at this position. Next, he welded another door frame of the same size. In the same way, he did not explain this process in detail. This is the design sketch of the door frame. If you need it, you can double click the screen to save it. While we were talking, the guy quickly finished processing the other door frame. At this point, he used an angle grinder to cut off the two side tubes at the top corner. After cutting, this was the flipping effect. How about it? Isn't it very smooth? Then he cut out semicircular groove at the top corners of the two door frames. He welded a steel pipe in one of the grooves. At the same time, he used steel plates to make two parts. Then he welded the two parts at the ends of the other groove. At this point, he finished making the frame. Then he welded iron plates with holes on the surface of each tube for later installation and fixation. After the door panel was finished, he sprayed paint on the frame to beautify the appearance. Next, he cut out matching door panels according to the size of the door frame. After sanding the surface, he assembled them one by one and fixed them with screws. Finally, he reserved the top and bottom of the door frame and installed a rotating shaft part on each. Then he assembled them accordingly. After assembling, he fixed the end with screws to prevent loosening. At this point, a cool rotating door was completed. How do you like the final product? If you give it 10 points, how many points would you give it? Are you moved by this door that is full of technology and creativity? 